Uh, good morning. We're here at Supercup. We're with uh, Jonathan from APCO. And Jonathan, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you again here. Um, you've got a couple of gliders here. You're not launching anything. Um, but you've got your two and a half line EMB. What is that? That's the new Nestron. We say true two and a half liner because uh, different from the rest of the two and a half liners. That's okay. Yeah, it is really a two and a half liner, meaning where you have three points, it's only three points connecting to the kennel. When you have two points, it's only two. Most kennels that are three and a half, two, two and a half liners, they have more than three points at the three at the center and more or more than two points at the tip. This is a true two and a half liner. And you can see that in the uh, Line consumption, it has a very low light consumption, sometimes lower than the gliders. The performance is very good, safety is good. We're very proud of this build. What's the aspect ratio of it? It's a 6 point, uh, sorry, it's a 5.95, 6.0. Depending on uh, how you calculate it, but uh, it's a 6.0 aspect ratio high there. Brilliant. Yeah, and that's been out a few months now. Yeah, it's been out since around the uh, Kupi car. It's gaining momentum. Yeah. It's a pretty crowded market now, that sort of high-end ENV. I think it's very competitive. What did you think about making an ENC or...? Yes, we have an ENC project based uh, on the principles of this league. We learned a lot from this project. Um, our philosophy is that we only bring a glider like that, a sea glider, to the market if it has something to offer which is more than the competitors. We are. Um, we don't believe that bringing another sea glider which is equal to the rest of the sea gliders will put us in a position that uh, will stand out. So this glider is truly special, it has some unique features inside. If it proves to be as good as we hope it is, then we will launch it. Otherwise, it's just another prototype. Okay. Now, what you did just launch recently was the Mohawk, which had everyone like, wow, look at that. Tell us about that. What is the Mohawk? The Mohawk is a bit of uh, outside of the box thinking because uh, we're not the first ones to use winglets. And basically, it's one big winglet in the center of the glider. But if you think about it, it has a lot of advantages. Winglets. They do produce uh, some amount of drag because they cannot be aligned with the flow at all angles of attack. They can only be aligned with the flow according to how the designer positions them in one specific uh, angle of attack, which means one specific speed. So either they are creating drag in trim speed or they're creating drag in, in uh, accelerated mode, but they cannot be there without some kind of penalty. Putting the uh, winglet in the center uh, is better in that sense because in all angles of attack it's aligned with the flow and it's only creating the drag of the shape, not any other, uh, um, it's called induced drag, which is better. And uh, the, the winglets, they're called winglets, but they're not there for uh, wingtip vortex uh, uh, purposes. Usually winglets on, on uh, commercial airliners or other, uh, let's say, uh, gliders, real gliders, they're there to be uh, wingtip vortex killers, mm -hmm. prevent wingtip vortexes. Uh, in the paragliding scene, that's not the case. The, all the companies use them for the benefits they bring, which is especially stability and uh, better spiral behavior. And um, if you realize that, then there's no point in putting them on the tips. Putting in the center gives the same uh, advantages. Because when you look, there are lots of the winglets now are all in different positions, but they're much further in than the advanced winglets. Correct, because they're not wingtip vortex killers. Yeah. They're stabilizers. As soon as you understand they're stabilizers, how many stabilizers do you have on a plane? You have one in the center. The same logic applies here. And if it's a, if you call it a stabilizer and not a winglet, it makes much more sense to put it in the center. If you call it a shark fin, mohawk. Yeah, <laughs> baby shark. I have uh, comments. Um, and so, do you do you notice anything different when you fly it? Uh, yes, you do. Well, what do you notice? Um, the wing, it's a paramotor wing. Yeah. In paramotoring, there's an issue with roll stability, yeah. especially with beginners. They have difficulty to stabilize the wing. Wing stabilizes much faster. Okay, and it's uh, noticeably, uh, um, uh, you, can, you can feel it right away. 
And also, uh, when you do some more dynamic, dynamic uh, maneuvers, you feel the wing comes out of, of, it wants to stabilize, it wants to come to a straight flight much faster. Mm -hmm. This applies in all situations. Spiral comes out of spiral faster, wing overs, it stabilizes faster. It has a tendency to try and straighten out much more than before. The dynamic or the aerodynamics or aeromechanics behind it are very simple. Like, um, I don't know if this is the, the, the right uh, scenario to explain, but yeah. this applies much more to low aspect ratio wings mm -hmm. than it does to high aspect ratio wings because of the length of the lines. High aspect ratio wings have longer lines. And uh, we saw fit to apply it first to a, a low aspect ratio paramotor wing and we will probably apply it in other places as well but people should understand that it has much more benefits on low aspect ratio wings okay beginner wings mainly cool. this is the new f5 this is a beginner paramotor wing and what's special about it uh, this is the first wing we're offering with a new mohawk if you can see the center it has this big stabilizer on the top yeah um, this, this wing is offered in two versions. This version is a standard version and we have a school version with simplified risers. It's a semi-light construction, bottom surface and ribs are very light, 27 gram material. Top surface is more durable like Apco always likes to use. Um, that's cool. it, it's really fun to fly, very agile. The fact that it's so stable on the roll axis allowed us to make it much more agile with the brakes. What else have you got? on the go what so that what else is new harnesses brand new we have a brand new and uh, basic harness for school and for general flying it's right over there this is the goal okay. goal is uh, like for accuracy landing okay that's the goal but uh, yeah. it's just the name oh i like this yeah that's good. The, har the harness is sub three kilo harness fully certified en and ltf very simple, very basic, minimal amount of, of setup for the pilot. Um, the only adjustment that you have on this harness is, is the shoulder adjustment. And you can choose here this loop or, or this loop. You have here another loop. Okay. Here. If you want to change the angle of the back, uh, there's magnetic attachment for the speed bar. You just push the speed bar out, it opens, and you want to store it and you put it back in. Ball bearing pulleys for the uh, speed system. Yeah, a nice big handle for for the beginners to to locate. It's always important. They, they taught us once a long time ago in the in SIV that the handle should be under the uh, main webbing. So when you're shaking, you just grab the carabiners, go down and get the handle. That's very important. The handles have a tendency to go backwards in some new harnesses. But for beginners, we think it's not the right uh, approach. What about back protection? What do you use? If there's a foam protector here underneath. Yeah. Uh, certified. On the foam protectors, there's an additional what we call Lexan plate. It's a piece of polycarbonate plate that spreads the load in case you have a sharp object like a stone or a tree branch uh, trying to penetrate into the uh, foam. Uh, yeah, it's a straightforward, simple harness mainly for the schools or weekend pilots that are looking for an open harness. Uh, it's very compact, it doesn't have a lot of volume when you uh, uh, fold it. Cool. And uh, it's going to come out in the next few weeks. This is actually the first one out of production. Try to push it out for this event. Um, certified for 120 kilos, which is a good. And it will be available in two sizes okay. and one color. Brilliant. This color. This color. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank it was you. Nice to see you.